Welcome to Get Cooking in Cloud, where we share the best recipes to apply in your cloud kitchen. I'm Priyanka Vergadia, and in this episode, we will talk about two very unique businesses and their website hosting challenges. My friend Christine is an amazing baker and started this bakery called Cloudy Bakers, where she sells her baked goods in her newly rented store in California. After a few weeks in business, she asked for some help. She wanted to build an online presence for her business to spread the word about her treats and grow beyond California. Now, it makes sense to start a website with a fixed menu to be displayed along with her contact information and some other details. So that's what we did. We needed to create a static website with her branding, logo, and a beautiful picture of her very tasty menu items. In order to accomplish this, we started by purchasing a domain called cloudybakers.com on Google Domains. Now with this domain, we officially have an online business name. Since all we needed was to establish an online presence and make sure the people know what Cloudy Bakers sells, we decided to use Google Cloud Storage to host this static website. We created a cloud storage bucket called www.cloudybakers.com and uploaded all the HTML, JavaScript, and images like the menu and the logos in it. Once done, we made sure that all the files in the bucket are publicly accessible so the users can see the website. This was great, but after about six months, Christine called me again. Her business had grown and she was getting more and more interest in her baked goods. And her customers were now looking for options to purchase online. But she had to work with some constraints. She had very limited help from a developer to update the site to take online orders. She was anticipating a higher volume of cookie orders in December because holidays, and budget was also tight. Given these challenges, she had to pick an option to host the site such that she does not have to worry about infrastructure needs if the products got popular and traffic grew from few users to thousands of users. So I recommended that she use managed compute platform Cloud Run. Since CloudRun is serverless, it abstracts away all the infrastructure management so she could focus on what matters most, selling more of her amazing cookies. We pointed this newly created website to the domain name and Cloudy Bakers could now take online orders. This recipe provided them a wide range of features that made scalability, load balancing, logging, monitoring, and security much easier than if she had to build and manage this website herself. Cloud Run also provided her business the flexibility to code in any programming language because the application is deployed as a container and Google seamlessly launches and scales the application as needed. Christine's business is off to a great start and she's very happy that she chose Cloud Run to host the website so she could focus all her attention on baking. If you would like to learn how to build websites on Cloud Run, we've got a video for that. Check it out. Now let's consider Express Food. Express Food is an online grocery shopping platform. They are a market leader and have been around for a long time. They currently host their website on premise and are looking to move to cloud. The CEO is convinced that this move will lead to benefits in total cost of ownership, operational expenditures, and allow the teams to focus on their core business. Express Food has a complex website with varying server configurations with specific memory, SSD, and GPU requirements. Given this specificity, it was clear that they needed more options and control than a managed platform could offer. So I proposed a lift and shift approach using Compute Engine. This recipe was apt for Express Food because the teams had complete control of the system and flexibility. They also had familiarity with the virtual machine configurations from on-premise world and can continue to apply the concepts in Google Cloud Platform without having to learn new concepts. They migrated the web server, 
application server, the database to Google Cloud by creating Google Compute Engine instances and mapping the memory and CPU of the currently used on-premise instances. Express Food sees variable traffic patterns depending on the seasons and the times of the day. So we also applied auto-scaling policies in conjunction with load balancing by setting up an auto-scaler that scales based on load on the instances. The CEO is happy that moving to cloud led to reduce operational expenses as a result of auto-scaling. And the engineering team is happy that they don't have to capacity plan for the purchase of new hardware a win-win situation for the Express Food team. But still, there was a challenge they were facing. Their feature launch speed was really slow. Digging further, we found that they had large development teams working on different features, but most of them were not able to launch due to dependencies on each other. Since the website was a huge monolith, the feature rollouts had to be combined together, which is not efficient especially for the teams and features that are small. Quick updates. To solve this issue, I recommended that Express Foods create microservices so the teams can work on individual services, removing the rollout dependencies on each other. Breaking the monolith into different services to componentize is best achieved through containerization. So the next logical move for Express Food was to containerize the services of the web application. This didn't just increase the speed with which they were able to innovate, but also provided portability and manageability. If you're looking to use GKE to deploy your web application, follow the link in the description below. All right, so let's summarize what we learned today. We saw how Cloudy Bakers was able to establish their online presence by creating a static website on Google Cloud Storage and then utilized Cloud Run to expand their online presence with minimum resources and effort. We also learned how Express Food used Google Compute Engine to host their existing legacy on-premise website on Google Cloud in least amount of effort possible and eventually containerized the website following the microservices architectural principles leading to rapid deployment and efficiency. That's all for today on Get Cooking in Cloud. Here's hoping you can whip up something great. Join us in the next episode where we will cook a new dish, disaster recovery on Google Cloud. If you would like to share your feedback on this series, write a comment below or tweet us. And if you would like to see more such content, then don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.